Make no mistake about it. Those of us who are walking in this greater love doesn't mean that we're weaklings. It doesn't mean that we're pushovers. It's quite the opposite. You see, we walk in the principle of honor as Abba has commanded us to do. We walk in a greater level of respect and love. We walk in compassion, grace, and mercy, but we are not pushovers. We stand for the truth of God. Let me remind you of the Hebrew boys. The Hebrew boys did not bow their knee to the statue, but they weren't disrespectful to the king. When the king brought them before his throne, they said, he said, why won't you bow? He said, we cannot honor things that go against our God. And the king looked at Daniel. He said, well, I'll throw you and your friends in the fire. And Daniel respectfully and honorably said, oh, excellent one. If that is what you must do, then do what you've got to do. But we cannot bow to your gods and we will not be compromised one bit in the ways of God. And they and he threw him in the fire. But the Daniel, Daniel and the Hebrew boys, they were respectable. They were honorable. They conducted themselves in a way that you could not uh, mar their character, child of God. So don't get it twisted. Just because we're walking in a greater love doesn't mean that we are pushovers because there is a new breed of Christians that are rising and we are the fiery ones. We are standing with heaven. We stand in righteousness, uncompromised. We actually walk the walk and talk the talk. We actually know who we are. So we decree and declare what the kingdom of God gives us to declare and we walk in our assignments and our purposes and our calling. But child of God, let no one deceive you to think that walking in a greater love makes you weak. No, 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 no. It actually makes you stronger.